Hello everyone, welcome to another FUDS Reviews board games video. This time we've got a card game, not a board game. It's quite a small one, so it'll be quite a quick review. And it's, we didn't play test this, paste it on theme at all. It's a thematic chaos, 2 to 4, 10 player game, paste not included, you just eat it anyways. It's a game from Asmadi Games and it's a quite a cheap little fun diversion really. If you've ever played a game like Munchkin or Flux, it is a similar vein to those, with bizarre, crazy humour. Let's flip the box and see what we got. So much theme! The most thematic version of Playtest ever created. All the chaos of random victories and losses you know and love, with zombies, pirates, spaceships and more! Prepare for fun and maximum velocity. Designed by Chris Kayslick. Illustrated by Squids. Playtested by nobody. It's 13 plus. Made in the USA. So this is actually a sort of spin-off, sort of sequel side game to a game called We Didn't Play Test This Game At All. Or something like that anyway. This is a standalone game you can play on your own as well. There's plenty of different versions of it so you can mix and match, add extra rules and this one's all about themes. Let's open the game up and see what's in it. So, we have rules. The rules. The objective of a game is to win. If you lose, you have not won, and you fact out of a game. If anyone accepts you lost, you win. Begin the game, split out the thematic conclusion cards, shuffle all the rest together, and deal two to each player. Pick someone to go first, as randomly as you possibly can. On your turn, draw a card from the deck, and play one card from your hand. Just follow the instructions on the card, after you're done, play passes to a player on your left. You might notice that some of the cards are star cards. This is because they are clearly superior to normal cards. To maintain game balance, every player has an equal chance of drawing a star card from a deck. Each game will be a thematic conclusion. Shuffle a conclusion deck, grey side down. Each game a top card or conclusion deck might occur. There are some special rules and trigger for flipping a card. This will cause a game to end in some interesting way. Thematic conclusions. Each of the eight themes has a few different thematic conclusions. A backside white of these are the same for each theme. But the fronts grey vary. That way you don't know which conclusion is coming. Thematic conclusions always end the game. Some players might win, some players might lose. It's a mystery. Each card has a slot for an owner, which is used when playing the Playtest Legacies expansion. You know the card, that part of the card otherwise. Values. Each card has a value either attack, defence, cute, shiny, wacky, or tasty. Some cards refer to these values, especially thematic conclusions. They have no other inherent effect. Cute cards do make you cuter. Playtest theme can be played alone or with other sets. If playing with other sets, leave the theme card separate. Allow players to draw from three cards instead of two, at least one of which must be theme card. If you want to assign themes and values to other cards, use a sharpie and do so at your discretion. This is a game which really does um, suggest modifying your card a lot. In fact, the owner card in Legacies pretty much tells you to do that. So as the uh, game suggests, you got different cards available. You got the main playtest cards, which I'll separate over here, and for thematic conclusion cards, which are over here. Okay, so what you have, how you play this one? I'll play it as an example. Make <coughs> sure these cards together. Let's play this as though we got four players. Two cards for each player. This is a star card. It tells you which cards are star cards. And these players got these, these players got these. These players got these, and we card players baked goods. Each time a card that has a food rated title or a tasty value is played or discarded, stack it under this card. There are now the ingredients. 
when three or more ingredients are ready for baking, flip this card over. So, the food card has got a little cake icon like this here, uh, Magic Rainbow Sprinkler. So this player has got two cards, he draws a card and can play one. For instance, a donut here, he plays donut, says, ask each other player in order, would you like a donut? Then we will discard. Donuts are amazing! Anyone who did not join the deliciousness loses. Shamefully, seriously, who doesn't want a donut? 100% of the people who, who eat donuts are healthier than people who don't eat. It's science. So basically that card gets people out of the game. And although to be honest, who doesn't want a donut? So you play that card. Let's say this person doesn't want a donut, they lose. But because you played a donut, it goes underneath the card. This player now goes and draws an or you can eat buffet. Brain buffet, sorry. Let's play we can eat brain buffet. Each other player must show a defence card from a hand or they are eaten by zombies. Now this player has no defence cards, he has a shiny card and an attack card, so that player loses. This player shows his uh, dexterous. Now this one is not a um, food card, it goes to this card. That player is out, that player is out, move back to here. I had some magic rainbow sprinkler. It's shiny. Immediately, if a player has just complained about something, they are now covered in rainbow sprinkles. It's not improve their mood, but it makes it better for everyone else. All other players win. You can't play that one because it doesn't do anything. So let's play. Play this card that's one adjacent to you. If you hit them, they are dead. If you do not hit them, then you're about life and you lose. So you try and punch this guy, this guy dodges, you lose, they win. Now because you're the only player left every other player left in the game, they automatically win the game. So that's how random this one is. Let's look see what would have happened if we'd have got baked goods to its conclusion. Examine your ingredients. If anyone contains the word banana, everyone wins. Because banana souffle. Feasibility, irrelevant. Otherwise a souffle does not rise. You're all shamed and lose and really should have not even attempted to make one. It's hard and bad at life. Okay, so. That was very, very random. But in a good way, because you've no idea what the hell is going to happen in this game. Would I recommend the game? Um, hit or miss, really. If you like crazy humour, if you're missing a game to play for the last five minutes of a of a uh, session, then why not? If you can afford it, go for it. Would it make a cornerstone for the um, new games? Probably not. They didn't play test with pasted on theme at all. It shows because the game goes in complete random directions and never even lasts a round or two if you play it seriously. But it's a fun game, it's a fun diversion. Well, thank you very much for watching. My name has been Fuds. Remember to join me again next week for more Fuds reviews. I've got the game behind me, which I'm going to review next. It's a very different game to this one. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.